is December 12th, Tuesday, and I'm ready to take a walk. It's kind of chilly still this morning. I think it's like 35 degrees out. So I'm wearing my scrappy Point Edwards mitts that I talked about last time. Mine are super scrappy. <laughs> um, I changed colors like every six rounds or something on these. And so, yeah, I'm going to wear these and I've got my Pohi Locatelli hipster shawl and my pull the wool over knit hat. I love this hat. Um, I held a strand of mohair with, I believe, three fingering weight yarns because um, it calls for like a, an Aran weight maybe. Um, but it's a great hat. And I added a fun pom-pom. I made one for both my girls and my mom and my sister several years ago. And yeah, it's still a great hat. I wear it almost every time. Unless I wear my muscle bra, but that one will really <clears throat> squish my hair. So anywho, there's our elf. His name is Jack. So, all right, I'm headed out for a walk. See you later. What is that face? What is that face? <clears throat> Say bye bye. it's the 13th already it is a cool day but the sun is shining and we are having chili for dinner so that is going to be next on my things to do but before I do that I wanted to share the progress that I've made on my advent socks and my field sweater so okay so here we are both of my advent socks here is Freckled Whimsy, and here's my two pairs. I've got this pair, I'm on day nine, and here I'm on day seven um, of that pair. And then I'm so excited I got the second pair going, and I love how they're different. I think that's so fun. Um, so let's see, two, four, six, I'm on day, ready for day nine on here. And then this morning I took a couple minutes, um, I was watching a vlogmas, um, I think I was watching Sandy by the Lakeside and I had just a couple of minutes left and I thought, oh, I bet I can cast that on. And then Ramona hopped up, um, well, I'll have put that in here probably too, but then Ramona hopped up. So I did another round, um. Cause she was, she finally settled on my lap. So 
I did that. So yay, all four are on the needles and yeah, off to a good start here on day 13. And Cozy Knitter, I love how these are just looking, they look like watercolors or something from a distance, but you get up close and you can see they are stripy, which is really unique. Um, so these, this one is up to day 10 and I, it's kind of funny, I'm almost in the same place as far as the, how they all go, but, and then I have the second sock for this pair just cast on in like one round. So that one is started. And then this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm on day eight. And this one, I'm still, still at the beginning, but, um, yeah. So I'm happy with my sock progress and yeah, I just kind of, when I sit down, I just pull out the one that I feel like working on at that moment and go with it. Yeah, I'm really not being super calculating with it, but it's fun. And I don't know that I'll have a pair to wear but on Christmas Day, but I usually don't because I rarely ever have time to get that toe done or whatever. So, yeah, but fun. And uh, in a couple medium bags. The system is still working quite well to have them in there together. So yeah, day 13. And here is my field sweater living in my large project bag. Oh, so here it is. I am just finishing up round 24. Um, it was a pretty good increase round. Um, I think the row before because um, you would I, I you they have you do some increases and then you actually are creating another grain out of those increases so I have a ton of stitches packed on this needle I think this is a 24 inch and I have a 32 um, that I'm gonna swap it over to on the next round um, and probably as I'm got the stitches kind of equally distributed on both needles. I'm going to slip it on just to see how it is fitting. Um, I'll probably take some pictures on my mannequin too, just so I can see it like not on me. <laughs> but yeah, there's a ton of stitches packed on here right now. And so yeah, so I'm on round 24 of the yoke. There are 29 rounds of just the single color and at round 29 um, I switch and I start adding in that green so I'm super excited and I know the next few rounds um, or after the next few rounds that it's going to require some of my attention so it might line up really well that I have maybe that'll happen on Saturday because um, I'll have time to sit down and think so yeah so here's what I'm doing on my pattern <clears throat> because they tell you to uh, really like note where you are in the pattern. So <laughs> I have a post on here that says around row your knitting just so I don't um, get lost. So because they are pretty impossible to count, but I will say it's not hard if, you know, if I were to be on not know which row I'm on. It is pretty easy to read the stitches on my needle um, if I know kind of where I'm at roughly. Um, I don't think it would be too hard to read what I did on the last row or what I last few stitches um, to figure out where I'm at. But anyways, this is where I'm at. Um, I think there's like 43 rounds. I got cut off. Anyways, um, <laughs> I think there is 43 rounds um, total in the yoke. So I'm, eh, I'm about halfway. So that's cool. Um, yeah. So stay tuned.
I made a fancy lunch just for me. Mm, some grits. I had to brown up sausage for soup tonight. And I made some eggs. My toast just popped. And here is dinner in the crock pot. It is a sausage kielbasa soup from my favorite cookbook, Mom's Comfort Food by Joyce Klinstra. My husband bought me this cookbook over COVID and I absolutely love almost everything that I have made. Actually, probably everything I've made in this cookbook, but here's to lunch on Tuesday, December 19th. Hello, it is Tuesday, December 19th, and I am just going to check in real quick um, for Vlogmas. I really hope that I get this uploaded. Um, I've recorded some little snippets over the past few days, um, but it's kind of been busy, and every day I thought I was going to sit down and put together last week's Vlogmas, and it just really... It just, I haven't had time yet. So um, any time that I have had where I thought, oh, I could I, sh I could sit down and do my Vlogmas, um, honestly, I've just chosen to knit instead. So um, I am on a mission. So let's talk, let's talk knitting. Um, um, what do we wanna get out of the way first? I have my advent knitting, I have my sweater, and I have gift knitting. Um, I'm still, I'm still plowing ahead. I'm still hopeful that I can um, come out of this with a couple of things off my needles, um, whether it be a gift or the sweater. Um, the Advent socks, honestly, are probably the last thing I'm worried about finishing because I know that like on Christmas Day, I'm going to have time to um, work on those. So I'm not, and I know that even I, I wouldn't wear them on Christmas Day anyways because in years past, I've never gotten the toe finished anyway. So, and I have other socks to wear. <laughs> um, so blah, 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 blah. what are we going to talk about first? I'm sitting here with my sweater right in front of me. So should we just, should we just talk about that first? I think we should. <sighs> so I got the sweater started. I think I showed you I had the neck done. I started the grains. Um, and I was so excited to get to the green, to get my second color on. So here it is. Whoops. Ah. You don't need any, it's just falling off, okay? <laughs> so here it is. I might turn it around to the back if it's easy to see. Yeah, no, okay. We can see that. So here is my field sweater. This is um, a pattern by, oh, Camilla. I chose to knit it in this Christmas theme. I had the green yarn. I had the red. I bought mohair to put with the red because the red was a sport weight and the green was a DK, both Madeline Tosh. I had the best time working these grains. Um, it, it is a cable stitch. And, um, I believe it's like a four or five row repeat, like to vent, to start and complete the grains. Um, I will be honest. The only part of the grains that I did not enjoy is the large grain. And that happened, I believe two times. So it's at the bottom of these little, of the grain, the biggest one on the bottom. It happened there and it happened up here in between. It was just... It was not fun because you are pulling um, a, a strand through five loops on your needle. And to be honest, I think having the mohair in there, in there complicated that for me. Um, the mohair is grabbing onto itself. It doesn't care what stitch it is on. So it just made it really fiddly to get uh, my crochet hook through there. I actually grabbed, um, it was a... B1 2.25 millimeter crochet hook. So I use that to go through those stitches and pull um, that through there. I could not do that with my needle tips. Oh my gosh, I would not be a very nice person <laughs> if I did that. Um, 
So yeah, I I have enjoyed this pattern. I'm even I'm even open to doing this pattern all in one color. I think it's beautiful in one color, and so I would kind of like to do that. Um, what else do I want to say? I have about twelve more rounds on before I split for the sleeves. Uh, so I'm really, really anxious to get there to do that. Here it is on the back. They have you do some short rows. So um, you can see a little bit more of it with the green. And I'll be honest, when I was looking on Ravelry, <clears throat> and even now I'm like, okay, I think I'm going to like this. Um, the main hesitation I had, even though the amount of yarn that I have limits me from doing the whole thing in one color or the other. So it was like, mm, this is your choice if you're doing this sweater. Um, I, I was a little concerned about this harsh line there. I really, really love the red coming down in the green. Um, but I was like, am I going to like that harsh line? Um, and seeing it now, like in person, I do. I like it. So, um, yeah. I have put a lot of hours into this. Like I said, any time this week when I thought, oh, I could, I could, you know, edit my vlogmas and do that. I was like, mm, no, <laughs> I'm going to knit my sweater. So I'll be honest, my uh, hope in having this done for Christmas, which is less than a week away now, is certainly waning. Um I guess the good news is that here in Ohio, it's supposed to be a fairly mild Christmas, like maybe even close to 50. So this would be a pretty warm sweater to wear um, with the mohair in there for me. So, you know, it's all right. I, I'm going to power through because, like I said, I will wear this when I get it done. I don't care if it if it's January. Um, I'm saying January. I'm not saying February on purpose because it's not going to be February when I finish it. It's going to be really close to the new year. You hear it here first, folks. So that is my plan. That is my field sweater. Um, I really do think I would like to knit this in an all one color because these grains really, really are fun. Um, if you're going to do the field sweater, my biggest recommendation would be to do those grain, the yarn over part of it, loose. Do them loose and use pointy, the pointiest needles that you have because you're going to want the the point to be able to get um, into, into that grain stitch. So, um, yeah, it's it's great. I am enjoying it very much. And at this point, it's just straight knitting. I am helical knitting um, the body just because there is a little bit of variation and I don't want to get any like pulling or anything. So I am helical knitting that now that I am um, past the short rows and all that good stuff. Like I, I did the short rows and joined the color in. I did all that on one color or one ball. And then I started helical knitting once I got to the just knitting part just like the that you do like I think for my size it's like 18 rounds of knitting before I divide for the sleeve so for those that part of the pattern that's where I started doing um, the helical knitting um, and I have a link in my Ravelry notes to the helical um, tutorial explanation that that I followed um, or like I do Okay, um, let's talk gift knitting and then we can talk Advent socks. Um, so I have two gifts on the needles. Um, of course, I always come up with like a gazillion other ideas and it's like, hello, Carrie, hi. Yeah, Christmas is the only time that you can make gifts for people. So um, I'm trying to adhere to that because there's like a couple things I thought of um, for my girls that I would like to make, but yeah. <laughs> We have to put a limit somewhere. Okay, so the two gifts that I have are actually for my sister. I have mitts and I have a hat. Um, so the mitts, I am a little bit farther, but not much farther than I was the last time we talked. Um, like I said, the, the sweater has just been taking precedence. Um, this is, I have about 
28 more rounds of this um, twisted rib for the hand. And then I think there's like 12 rounds of twisted rib for the thumb. So they're super close. And yeah, I didn't weave in the ends on this one yet. But I have the I have the first one done and I I sat and did weave it in the ends. I don't know. Last week sometime. Um so they're close. They're getting there. It's one of those projects where I just kind of I'm ready for them to be done because they've been on the needles for way too long. So maybe this is my way of um forcing myself to get this project off the needles, but We'll see. Um, so my next thing that I have is a Musselboro hat. And hello, Ramona. She may come up. This one is also for my sister. Apologies. I do not know what this yarn, <clears throat> what it was. <clears throat> it was in my stash. I think I, I know I had started knitting a pair of socks with it um, a few years ago. And that tag, I thought, I thought maybe it was like tucked up in the skein somewhere, but it's not. So that tag is long gone, but this is a Musselboro for my sister. I am using US three needles on this one and I'm doing the adult large and this gauge is coming out looser than, um, some of my other fingering weight ones have done. So, um, but I, I really like the fabric of it and it's going well. So this has been yesterday. I had to sit and I waited in the car during three different appointments. So there was like three hours of knitting that I did in the car and I worked on this hat. Um, and so it was great for that because it was just easy. <laughs> I, I listened to, um, I listened to a book. I think I watched a podcast. Just, yep, hanging out in the car like we do. Um, so, again, I don't know that this is going to get finished, but this is great car knitting. Um, so, it's fine. Um, it'll get done when it gets done. But I'm loving, loving, loving how it is striping up. I was hoping that it was it was going to do what it's doing, and it's, it's changing color like every two rounds. Um, so that is really cool. Uh, she's going to love it. Um, it's not quite so, um, stark in real life. It's a little more subdued. It feels extra bright in here tonight. Um, I have my light and I feel like it's kind of glary or something. So anywho, all right. So muscle bar hat on its way. Okay. <clears throat> Advent socks. Like I said, these have taken a back seat, but at the same time, I still have gotten things done on them because they've been the thing that if I had, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes the past couple weeks just waiting for dinner to finish up or people to be ready to eat, these have been the things that I have picked up. And I am happy to report that I have all four cuffs cast on. That was a huge goal that I had and that just simplifies things. Um, several, maybe half of them are ready for the heel and I've just been dragging my feet on that. Um, so yeah, let's, let's see where I'm at. Okay. <clears throat> so my cozy knitter pair number one, these one, two, Okay, so this one needs one more stripe, and its mate needs three more stripes, but those are coming along, and then my other pair of Cozy Knitter, because to recap, I am doing two pairs of both of my Advent socks. One pair for me and one pair for my mom. And I believe I'm going to have a full repeat of stripes left of each pair. So I could do 
two more pairs of each one, but I think what I might do is do a muscle bra with them. I think that would be really fun. And I almost think it would be fun to mix them up. I don't know. I don't know. We're not there yet. Um, so yeah, so this one is not as far along. Ugh. So here is my two pairs of cozy knitter. Um, yeah, they're really fun. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm enjoying these a lot. They just aren't getting a ton of my attention. Okay, let me tuck these back in here. <clears throat> Get everybody on their respective sides. So when I knit my um, Advent socks, I choose because I do find that different brands of needles have their gauges can be just like mm, ever so slightly different. So I, I am very particular about pulling the same needles for each sock and a pair. Um, so I generally knit with Addy Sock Turbos. Those are my favorite sock knitting needles. And then the others that I really, really have come to enjoy is the Haya Haya um, I prefer the sharps, but I find those to be very, very similar to Addie's. Um, they have a blue cord, very similar to Addie. It's not quite as clear of a blue color, um, but I, and they're, um, they're a little, they're, the metal needle is a little bit more of a brushed metal than the Addie, Addie's, and the difference between the Addie's and Addy Sock Turbos is the Sock Turbos have a little bit pointier of a tip, which I honestly really, really like. Um, but both Addy Needles are a slick um, silver metal. If you get the lace, they're gold and they're a little more grippy because you're using lace weight yarn and you don't necessarily want your yarn slipping and sliding off. But for socks, that slippery metal is fantastic. Um, and I find the Haya Haya Sharps to be very equivalent in the slipperiness, but I do feel like they're a little bit more grippy than the Addies, but I still love them. So that tells you that it's not really grippy. Okay. Anyways, I don't know where that came from, but okay. Second advent is freckled whimsy. And these, I'll show you the pair that I have the least amount of progress on so far. These have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so this one is ready for the heel, and its mate is behind. I cast on this cuff, I don't even know, end of last week, over the weekend, something like that. Um, so this is pair number one. Now, Freckled Whimsy, no all of her skeins didn't start on the same color. Cozy Knitter, you saw they all started on that like fawn brown color. Freckled Whimsy, everybody's um, pair doesn't necessarily start on the same color. So that's been really fun to see where everybody's is beginning at. So I bought two skeins, like I said, and they start in different places. So I'll show you these. Um, these, I believe, one, two, 11. These are both ready for the heel, this pair. Um, so I do 11 stripes. That's what I've done in the past and that works out to be about what I like. Um, I'm super scientific and I measure from my cuff up to my needle and I like it to be this length, which is for me, um, I believe that's almost like seven inches or something. What is that? five, it's like six and a half, seven inches, so like a seven inch leg. Um, so here is pair number one. These are ready for the heel. And pair number two, you can see they don't, they're different. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So yeah. Um, I'm loving, I'm loving both, um, different advents, advents. They both have just a different vibe and I'm very much enjoying the 
brown for the cuff. Um, I have to decide. I might just do the heel in brown. And then because I know I have extra stripes and I just love these colors, I might take the, the stripey all the way through the toe on the freckled whimsy. It's kind of what I'm thinking about doing. Um, cozy Knitter, I've done every other pair of those with the um, natural white color for the heel, <laughs> sorry, the cuff heel and toe. So I kind of think that is what I'm going to do on that pair just because I've done it on all of the others. I did that with Freckled Whimsy last year, um, but I'm, I don't know. I just really, really like the stripe going all the way down the toe. And so that makes me want to do that on these. So anyways, that is my freckled whimsy. So, so I am just, I am just enjoying the process. Um, this past weekend was really busy. Like I said, um, our college kid came home and so there's just been lots of family time which is just great um but that took up all of that took up all of Saturday and Sunday was also busy um we had an appointment in the morning and just getting stuff ready for the work week. I don't know. <laughs> it just, it was, it was a busy weekend. Um, and yeah, so, um, oh, we went to the grocery. Yeah, that's what it was. Um, did that on Sunday. So I, uh, yeah, I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, I was going to say, I did make that crusty bread. If you remember, um, <clears throat> I don't know, a couple weeks ago, I talked about it's like full on soup season here. So I had pulled out this overnight crusty bread recipe from, I don't even know, like 2015 or something. It was, it was all the rage for a while. And then I think sourdough kind of took over. Um, but this was like pre sourdough craze, or maybe there's always been a sourdough craze and I just wasn't part of it. And anyways, so it's, um, I finally made it tonight for dinner. Um, we had a, uh, sausage and potato soup and I wanted this crusty bread. So, um, it's not hard. It's just a little, it's, you know, you're using like a couple different pot, you know, using a big, a big cast iron pot and you have a bowl and there's just, there's rise time and then there's preheating the oven time and then there's baking time and you gotta let it cool a little bit. Like it's just, you know, it's just a little more involved. It's delicious. Um, we just have the tiniest sliver left. Um, yeah, but it was really good with some butter on it. So, um, yeah, it's cold. Yesterday, we had like a little burst of snow during the day. Um, there's some storm system going through. And so we, we got that in the form of um, some random snow flurries and things. And really the main thing it did was it dropped the temperature pretty good. So today's high was like 30 or something. I don't know, but um, it was cold, but it's going to start warming back up. So um I wouldn't mind if it kind of stayed a little cool, but at the same time, that time is coming. Like, honestly, in Ohio, it tends to be more January, February. Like, you kind of think that December, oh, Christmas, and it's going to be snowy and whatever, and then um, you think you're out of it, and then no. Like, it's still coming. It will come. It will be here in January and February. It will get cold. We will get to wear our sweaters. <laughs> Have no fear. <laughs> Right? Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go now. Nobody is still home. So I am going to... <sighs> Maybe it's time to get my shower, get my pajamas on, and then I am just good to go to knit until I'm ready to go to bed. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I hope I actually get this uploaded and that it will say 
that honestly, this is probably the last of my pre-Christmas Vlogmas. Um, I will probably, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll still pop a few pictures on Instagram, some things like that. But honestly, um, I think I'll be closing down uh, for the rest of the calendar year to just spend time with family and recharge and knit. So if I don't talk to you before the next podcast in January, I hope you all have a great holiday. I hope you find lots of stolen minutes in your day for your families and for your knitting and your friends and your cats and your dogs. <laughs> I really thought I was going to get a cat up here. So, everybody's sleeping. Shadow's under the tree. If he's not over here behind me, he's under the tree. <clears throat> Ellie and Chet are in their bunk beds, and Ramona's, she's kind of down here pacing. You're probably wondering why everybody else is still sleeping. So, I hope you all have a lovely holiday. Merry Christmas. And... Don't forget to take a little time for yourself and knit and crochet all of those stolen minutes. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.